in New Jersey, we have degrees of crime. We have first, second, third, and fourth degree crimes. First degree, obviously, are the most serious. Second degree are rather serious. Third degree crimes, and then fourth degree crimes. And we have what's called this disorderly persons act. Those are charges that you do not have criminal implications, so you will not have a criminal record if you're convicted of a disorderly person's offense. You should be aware, first degree crimes, very, very serious. The presumption is jail. Second degree crimes, there's a presumption of jail. There's also mandatory minimum maximum in certain statutes, which in New Jersey, we have very, very tough laws. It's called No Early Release Act for certain crimes which is 85% of the mandatory minimum maximum before you would be eligible for parole. So for instance, if you get charged with a first degree charge that warrants at 85%, you could wind up with a presumptive sentence, say of like 13 years, where you'd have to do 85% of that, which comes out to almost 11 years. That's why it's so important to hire attorneys who are familiar with the system and know how to deal with charges regarding first, second, third, or fourth degree. It's very, very important. To get a charge to be a third degree charge is important because on a first offender, third degree, the presumption is you do not go to jail. I'll give you an example. A second degree crime of theft, anything over $75,000 a second degree, you would wind up going to jail. On the other hand, if you can get that negotiated below $75,000, it becomes a third degree crime and the presumption is you don't go to jail. That's why it is, as I've said before, and I have to emphasize this, it is paramount that you hire an attorney that knows the system and knows what they're doing because there's certain buttons to push. That attorney will know what buttons to push with the prosecutor, very important. You also want an attorney that has a good rapport with a prosecutor's office, who's respected by that prosecutor's office, who has dealt with that prosecutor's office in the past and knows what they're doing, that knows the law.